Hello and welcome back to Unfinished Farm. We're so glad that you have uh, stopped by to see the progress of the hallway, um, remodel, renovation, redoing, whatever you want to call it. I got all the trim uh, around the doors done. I ended up on this one, dropping it down to the same level so I could run all that all across because it was going to look a little cray cray. I'm um, doing it otherwise. I also took this opportunity. We live in an old house. It gets drafty in here. Um, they weren't real tight. So there was some air coming up um, where I took the took the old uh, baseboard off. So went ahead and foamed all that up so it is nice and airtight. So now what we're gonna do is do our paneling, okay? So just a reminder of how we got to where we are, found center of this run, measured out inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter, that's the center of your uh, one by. Uh, completed that process all the way down. And so this is how we got to where we are. So what I've done so far um, is made a line where my one by six base is going to be and measure accordingly up and down for the one by four. So what we're gonna do now, since I've got all my measurements for all three sides is go cut these things. And the way that I did it was this floor is not level at all. So I picked um, a measurement. So these will be 51 and once you pick a measurement, it's good to write it down. 51, okay? So these are 51 over here. These are 51. The, the, these over here, the, the floor is a little more janky. So these are 50 and three quarters. So we're in the shop now, laying out. This is the top rail for the long run. It is 127 and a half. I've already squared off that end down there and cut the factory edge off of it. So now I'll cut these. This Six top rails, one by four. Lay that to the side. So now we've got to cut eight of them, forty-nine and a quarter. So cut the factory edge off. Measure out your cut, forty-nine and a quarter. All right, so what I like to do when I get it set, if I'm making a bunch of repetitive cuts, is put up a stop block. So every single one will be the exact same. I just nail it into my table. Not the best way to do it, but it works. You put holes in your table. But now we know that every one that I cut will be 49 and a quarter. My ears on. So again, always cut the factory edge off to square it up. Now we do 
and screw them all together. So I will show you how that is as soon as I get set up. We'll go ahead and put some pocket hole screws in here with just a little bit of glue to hold everything and everything will be nice and tight and there forever. All right, so the next step in the process, is we're gonna put pocket holes in the one by fours that we just cut top and bottom. Two on each uh, two on each side. So what that does is put pockets in there. You've got your pan head screws that go through it, and it locks it in nice and tight. As we cut them or a pocket hole, we're gonna mark center, which is an inch and three quarters. Because our pieces are three and a half inches wide, so that's center of them. All right, so we got everything set up. Got this clamped up just to show you before I start. So this, the clamp keeps this stuff flush and tight. And then your screws go in these little pockets right here. I'll show you right quick. So I've got inch and a quarter pan head screws. And they just go in those Holes, oh, can I do it? Can I do it with holding one hand? Just like that. So you repeat that, the whole run down, and we'll, uh, we'll have a panel once we do the top. So you sit back and enjoy, and I'll do all the work. So there we have it. That's the bottom is done. You can see everything's nice and flush. I forgot to put glue on it. I mean, it's, you don't have to. It's just like an extra little step that just a little extra strength to it, but it's pretty strong. There's not gonna be any weight on it. Um, it'll be fine. It's just something I usually do that I forgot to do. So anyway. Everything looks good, sorry. I think we put the wrong one. <laughs> this is that one right in the middle. I grabbed the wrong one. Cause it's an uh, inch and a half shorter. So I want to fix that. That's why it's always good to pay attention. Hey, what the heck? I want to fix that and then we'll uh, do the top and then we'll install it. So we got it in, we've got our level line here. I cut it short just to make sure everything's level because the floor was so uh, cattywampus there. So lift it up to here, we'll nail it off. Shoe mold will cover 
whatever gap there is between the floor and the one by six. So there we go. Got a little bit more to nail off, but you get the idea. Get you out there. So that's it. It's always so narrow, it's hard to get a good picture of everything, but let's see if I can step back and we can look down it. But uh, everything's nice and flush. You'll still have to put a little wood filler in here where these are joined together. Do a little light sand in there. Knock everything down and make sure it's nice and, and flush. But other than that, We've got this side and that side to do with this to work around. So we'll do that, but that's all I can do today because my son's got a baseball game, so I only had about an hour today to work on this. So anyway, um, hopefully can pick up tomorrow evening, finish up these two sides, have everything installed, and then caulk, fill nail holes, a little wood putty, and we'll be good to go. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, so here's where we're at. I've got everything caulked up, sanded, nails, hole, filled, everything. So we're about to break a record here at Unfinished Farm and get a project done in a week. Uh, it's been a busy week. My son's high school baseball started back. So we spent two nights at the ball field. Uh, we're supposed to be there tonight, but the rain canceled, got, got the game canceled. So. Here I am. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put the camera up. We are gonna do some time lapse. And when we get done, probably late tonight, everything will be painted and this room will be finished. So what we're gonna do with the floor because I just do not like it at all. Um, my wife is gonna color the grout to see if that changes the look of it. So. If that does work, we'll be done except for one thing. I do have to order a set of router bits. We're going to build a door for here. We've got five panel doors throughout the house, like I was saying before. And so I'm just going to make the door because I have, I think, three or four others to make in the other side of the house. So without further ado, let's get to painting. What's up guys, we've got it done. The paint is literally still drying. I finished up just minutes ago. Um, hung these hooks, <coughs> excuse me. Um, my wife got these at the Goodwill. She paid $3.99. They were all on a one by four or one by six that was stained and uh, we took them off, put them on there. So if we ever get any friends, they can come over and they can hang their stuff here. Keeping fingers crossed for that one. Um, let's see what else. It all turned out pretty good. I'm gonna have to touch up some on the door. We're taking this film off here that my wife put on there because it's all bubbled up, bubbled it up. So she's got a Roman shade that we're gonna put there. But this trim, all the casing will be carried out throughout the rest of the house. Um, I think it turned out pretty good uh, because I did it. But you know, you may think otherwise. There's the cat. So what's up, cat man? Um, so. One, pro one more project complete, so we're on a roll. That's two in two weeks. Um, we also did change out the switches, uh, the outlet, because everything in this house, uh, electric electrical wise, is 1965. So we're gonna be uh, swapping all that out. Got a new light fixture we're probably gonna put up there. We're gonna hold off on the beams. We just thought that would be too much in this little, little space and uh, use that idea for somewhere else. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we have doubled our subscribership. So now I have tens and tens of people um, with which to put out great content. So thank you guys so much. Uh, please don't forget to hit subscribe button. That's important. 
Um, hit the like button as well and beat that bell. And we'll see you next time.